Click subscribe for update video every day. Ah, the Ultrabook. Three years ago, it didn't exist. But today, every brand makes at least one. And many make three or four separate models at a variety of price points. Competition between manufacturers to control this new category has spurred a significant improvement in quality over the last few years. There's nothing in its price range that's better for frequent flyers. The Ultrabook push gave the laptop market's smaller competitors the chance to expand their reach. And few have capitalized on it more than Samsung. Long and also ran, particularly in the North American market. Samsung redoubled its efforts with a comprehensive line of touch, tablet, and Ultrabook systems. Samsung computers are now sold at every price point, and in every form from traditional desktops to cutting-edge Windows tablets. One of the most important products in Samsung's PC catalog is the AT Book 7, a 13-inch Ultrabook that starts at $1.060, though the ultra-thin AT Book 9 often steals the show at conferences. Its slightly more affordable cousin offers a brighter screen and has a larger battery. In other words, this is the Ultrabook most people will actually buy. A look at the specifications reveals a problem. However, Ivy Bridge Hardware, our entry-level review unit arrived with a Core i5-3337U processor, 4GB of RAM, and a 128GB hard drive. While these components will likely lead to good performance, they'll make it hard for the Book 7's battery to hold its ground. Can this system compare to competitors who've already made the leap to Haswell? And an educated user could easily mistake the Atib Book 7 for, well, almost any other Ultrabook released over the last two years. Prominent Chrome Samsung logos aside, the system's silvery exterior, glossy black display bezels, and thin profile are par for the category. This isn't to say the system looks bad, it's just not as interesting as or. Color options could help spice up the look, but none are available. While the chassis is made entirely out of aluminum and looks the part, its construction feels cheaper than the materials suggest. Some panels, such as the lid, almost feel as if they're made of plastic instead of metal. We ran into build quality issues. As well, our review unit wobbled slightly when placed on a flat surface which is the result of the chassis being permanently bent. This was a common issue, 